everyone, welcome to the uh, first in a long time live stream here on this channel. We got something very, very exciting for you. You're gonna see what this is. This is something that arrived by mail and I'm gonna be unpacking it here live. And I'm not alone on this channel. Um, I've got my good friend Ian with me. So Ian, say hello. I'm super excited to have him here on this channel because uh, we've been working on this for quite some time and not only us two but also Nico um, has been enjoying, well has been joining us to do this too and uh, I'm excited and uh, let's see what we can, what we'll find in here. So a lot of people have already guessed what it could be and uh, over time uh, we figured out that we just have to kind of say what it is. and. It's a lettering game and I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna go just a little bit on this side, I feel like, and I'm gonna get Ian just on my right, on my left, on my left. And um, this is a uh, particular game. And the first thing that I will do is, one, I will unpack it. So here it is. It's a brand new game. Let's see if I can have a beautiful top shot here of what it could be. Um, so here, just a logo that we've printed on, and then there's a whole stack of cards, and then when you pull out, you also get three dices and a whole bunch of stickers on the side, and most of those stickers aren't like there's anything on it. Those are for you to use at some other point, and here is what we're gonna do. So we got three dices. Ian, did you already pack yours, get yours ready? So let me just quickly see if I feel like is everybody hearing Ian and and can you guys hear him as well? I'm just not seeing an audio feed in here on this side, which is weird um, because I should be. Let's go quickly have a look on what that could be. So let me know if you guys can hear Ian as well. Um, if not, let us know. Where's my mouse? I feel like. It's lost somewhere. Um, all right, I will figure this quickly out. Um, internal speakers, multiple outputs, that should be okay. I haven't done this in a very long time and it's always a little bit tricky to do this. Um, uh, MIDI. Just want to make sure built-in outputs, HDMI, Yeti Studio. Um, do I need to add something new? Configure speakers. So I can hear you, which is good. Why other people cannot hear you? That is the question, and that's not good. Um, HDMI output here, input there. Um, let's see. I quickly need to go and gather all these windows. Um, audio, audio, audio. Hey, we wish this was a bit different. So thank you so much for hanging on right now. We're just experiencing some technical difficulty with the audio and I am trying to figure out how I can get this on. Um, the other way that I could try here is by actually doing this. Um, so sound, sound should go be going here, but we're not getting any input, uh, which is also weird. Oh, it's going through. Why is it going through here? Okay. Oh, I see what the problem could be. Let's quickly figure this out. It's just gonna be a quick second. While this time we're getting all everything out here, making sure that everything works perfectly and smoothly. Um, multi output device, built in output. All right, try this again, Ian, see if we can hear you. 
Can you say something? Yep. So let me know in the chat if you can hear me. So now if everybody else would... can hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> and the question is, why is that? So if I select this here as a speaker, say something again. Um, Perfect. Uh, let, me, I... <laughs> yeah, let me know if you can hear me this time. Yes. Yes. In... I can hear you. People can hear you. And uh, all these issues seems to be fixed. Let's hope that it stays this way. Uh, we can hear him. Yay. Awesome. Brilliant. All okay. right. So maybe <laughs> start again. So what I was saying before the audio cut in was um, I've already got the stickers on mine. So I put all the ones uh, with the that, that actually have things on them, not the blank ones, but um, and we have three different dice or die, however you say it. So you have one, which uh, let's start with uh, this one, which has um, six different uh, choices of pen to use. So we have brush pen, we have chalk, we have fine liner, we have um, pencil, we have marker, and we also have one that's just random. So whatever you choose. And then we have one which is uh, got six different styles in it. So we have monoline, uh, serif, script, sans serif, black letter, and brush script. And the last one has uh, different styles on it. So we've got um, different styles that you can, I mean, different styles, different effects you can apply to mm -hmm. your lettering. So we have stippling, we have 3D, we have bevel, we have pattern, uh, we have inline, and we have ribbon. So that they are our three dice. And you got beautiful uh, colors too. So yeah and this is all thanks to nico because he he did all this all the physical work of putting all this together it looks so professional already as the first prototype it is and also it is definitely my first physical product well except for a book but like a lettering product to be like for creatives to use in their creative journey um and i want to also touch on the story behind like why did we invent this game what what is the idea behind this game because you kind of wonder like do i need this game like how came this to be and there's a story behind that and i'm just about getting all of these stickers on voila three stickers done in no time here you can throw the dice and so the idea behind the uh the dice here was really or this game was really about being stuck with creating something like you always need to make decisions and that's where the hard part starts it's coming up with awesome cool yeah. stuff to do and i struggled with that i don't know about you but i i definitely know i struggle with finding out like making decisions on the go and like you get decision fatigue you are like swamped and you have just too many options and we want to take this away and we thought like what better way to take this away than to create a game where you roll the dices so kind of like this you you just roll the dice you have three things that you need to put into your lettering so it's the i can use random object to draw with i have a brush script uh, lettering that i need to to use and then i have a ribbon that i need to implement and now comes the fun part it's what is the thing that I need to use and what kind of quote so I can mix these up. I can put it on side and then simply change here and like, you are enough. That's the quote. That's what I need to draw with. And that's it. So I have my options. I have my quote. And now I really just need to grab like my device, um, whatever I need to draw with or want to draw with. And I have everything here. And just you can just imagine how many possibilities you have if you have all of these options. And so this is what we want to do today together, like on this live stream, Ian and I want to perform this um, because you don't know this, we have kind of like our own private group chat between uh, Ian, Nico and myself. And so we actually have been playing this game for a couple of times uh, in this past week since we got the dices, since we have these options. And uh, it's been really fun. It's 
Like for me, I have been in a creative rut where I haven't been drawing for, I don't know, pretty much a couple of months, feels like it. Uh, of course, like I have yeah, been drawing same. in between, but not very much uh, other than that. And so, yeah, we've been drawing again, which is really, really cool. And so that's yeah. the game behind that. Um, let me just quickly, I feel like my camera looks like washed and, and just like not sharp. I'm just gonna fix that quickly. No worries. And I, I suppose something that um, helps with creativity is having some restrictions. I find that I'm least creative when someone just says, just do whatever you want, or having a blank piece of paper. So this stops that. This is, it gives you some restrictions so that then hopefully through that, it will breed uh, creativity and you'll get those ideas flowing. So we're hoping this works. Uh, so we're going to try it live on the stream. We're going to roll these dice. We're going to choose the card and we are going to come up with uh, some designs, hopefully. <laughs> um, but the thing is, is uh, when you pick up a card, it's got, you know, say three words. They don't all have to be in. Uh, you get to choose whether you do like uh, just one word in the style of what the dice are and just maybe keep the other words uh, simple or you can get uh, do the whole all, all the words that are there in uh, the style of whatever the dice show so there are some options there but um, hopefully uh, when we play it will come up with some good ideas uh, and so this is something that you can either use just for yourself or you can like we're doing today play with someone else or play with some friends uh, to see what you come up with see the ideas um, that everyone does so it's exciting that sounds good all right ian do you want to throw the dice and see what we get yeah or yes that's a good idea i'll do the dice you pick a card all right shuffle your cards while let's I'm do that okay okay uh i'll, I'll roll in one at a time to announce <laughs> so one at a time have... yeah I, I should really put it on the camera though shouldn't i yeah so we can see what to make make sure I'm not cheating. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the first dice. This is the pen we're going to use. Random, so we can choose. Uh, a sans serif. Sans serif. Oh, hang on. Sorry, off the. Hang on. <laughs> Stay on the iPad. There we go. And pattern. Pattern. So, oh, I love this one. Okay, so I'm gonna pick the quote. So we got, what were the three? Um, we had pattern, sans serif, and random tool to use. That's pretty handy for us. Okay, so everyone, you guys can also participate. Uh, feel free to join us. So um, I'm gonna just shuffle those cards really, really well. And we have about like 30 quotes in here already prepared. Um, here is a whole deck of quotes that you can write yourself. So it's a free deck that you can extend and continue. And so let's have a look on which card I'm going to choose. And the ch cards that I'm going to choose, life is better when you're laughing, which is absolutely true. And um, just to demonstrate that, huge smile. All right. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Life is better when you're laughing. So it's really cool because now you can just put that on the side or somewhere like right up there and you can start sketching. And it's a fun game to play with your friends, um, to like go on a Zoom call together and just start. And right now, Ian, are you still there? You are, you are yeah, there. Okay. I'm, I'm looking on the YouTube replay, which is a little bit lagging behind, but it's really fun. So first up. What was it again? Life is better when? You're laughing. So I'm gonna start by um, writing this out. So life is better when you're laughing. Um, usually, like go first up with a quick sketch. What you can also do, and so this can also make that fun, is is to create um, a really cool, like a timer. Put in put in a clock. Set like a timer when you want to. Um, to finish the game so you can use your phone. There's a timer in there, uh, super easy to do. And that's also really cool. So life is better. I love to write out a B in a super really cool 
um, script style. So you, there's a lot of freedom in this game as well that you can use. Um, like you, you can really narrow it down to whatever you need to, but you can also really be free in, in a lot of different options. So that's also really cool. So life is better when... Trying to place this when here somewhere in between. So I'm going really top down when you are, ooh, you are. I just need to implement the pattern somewhere. Cannot forget about that when you're laughing. So now that's, that's where the game becomes a little bit more complicated. Um, feel like a ribbon would flow really well, but laughing should be really large and also since it's a smile, I feel like that would be cool to have something in here, um, like large laughing. So in the chat, if you are joining us, let us know, like, let us know if you're joining us, drawing with us, um, it would be absolutely fun to see what you come up with. And the cool thing, like afterwards, we can all compare and see like, what did you do with the tools you had? And we'd love also just to know your thoughts on this game, like comment it somewhere, put it in the chat, like just give us, give us an idea, give us an impression of how you, like if, you, if this is something you would love to have in your house, if there's an, any idea how we can make that better. And of course, if you need to know a couple of like style ideas, how to do like scripts, we have a whole um, cheat sheet available, like a guide sheet for you that you can download for free. Uh, it's linked in the video description of this video below here. So you can easily find all of that there. Um, So I'm wondering, I'm peeking on what Ian is doing and seeing whatever he is. I, I'm i trying to look down and not look at yours. So that it, <laughs> you, I, look at it, I just don't end up ripping yours off. <laughs> at some point, we, we both have a similar style in some ways. So I feel like I know. this could be really... We spent too long together, I think that's the problem. That, that's um, true. And and like to say as well, it's not like, it's not solely digital. You can do it analog, you know, you can do it on paper. Exactly. Uh, and use actual pens. Uh, you know, it just depends on what is, is um, or what what you prefer to use. So I always start on paper, but I'm going to move on in a minute to uh, using my iPad. Um, but I just want to get some rough ideas down as to what I, uh, I want to do. As you can see, Stefan, uh, He's much quicker than I am. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I cannot wait to get this off the ground, but I, like, I have one big problem. I'm not putting in the pattern right now, so I don't know where I'm gonna place this um, and how I'm gonna do that, but I'll figure out a way eventually. Um, so here, So I can see a couple of people saying like I would I would be fun uh, it would be fun to bring this uh, traveling too. Uh, Kara saying yes I would definitely use it I would totally buy this game Jonathan Jenkins that's awesome. Um, in a teeth style the laughing should be in a teeth style that would be fun. Are you adding some teeth in on your lettering? I'm making my lettering like bounce up and down. Like when you're laughing, it's sort of like ah. you know, your diaphragm is, is you know, rising and falling quickly. And so that's why I want to make my lettering rising and falling mm. along the along it. Is it, is it bad if, if I like that idea so much that I'm trying to see if I can kind of like adjust mine to be a little bit more like irregular here, especially on the top, like the live... I See, think I think I'm gonna. Someone's asking what my pattern is gonna be. Uh, gear of B. Um, I think actually I'm gonna use the word life. And I, I when I think of life, I think of like my wife really loves gardening and she's doing a really good job at the garden and all the plants and stuff. And maybe I might use some sort of leaf pattern in it, like it's growing because it's you know laughing. You know, laughter's the best medicine. So, oh, that could be a thing. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sort of 
laughter's the best medicine, maybe make it, you know, something about getting better. So, so since you brought up this kind of like up and down, I feel terrible, but I'm, I'm, I'm loving this idea of like playing around, not making this too, too straight, especially after with the pattern, which is going to add so much detail to it. Um, trying to figure out like what we can do. And so right now that's even, I feel like it's even more fun to play it live with you than it's been just to, to, to put it somewhere. Like before we've just played it on our own. Um, and then even getting suggestions from, from others is also very helpful. So maybe I'm eating like the style, the effect. Does the effect have to be on the letters itself or does it, can it be around the letters too? I, I suppose it's up to you really. Exactly. It's the best game to cheat, I feel like. <laughs> now the best, the cool, coolest thing about like creativity is, is having fun, like kind of enjoying something new, trying out new things. Because the problem when you do the same thing over and over again, um, you kind of get stuck. And so you do the same thing over and over again and just it gets a little bit boring. Um, which is why some ideas just are helpful to, to play along with. So here, this is a little bit one-sided. But then let's see. You really can't forget, like right now we're using a random tool, which is super fun, but um, I'm not sure like that I, I will be forgetting one part of this challenge. And so I still want to put this, the pattern inside. Now we'll figure something out. I will figure something out. Just not knowing yet, trying to figure that out on the go. Keeping this small here. So far, like, what what are your questions, comments? I'm seeing like a lot of people in here, a lot of familiar faces too, which is really cool. Um, glad to see you all here. And and yeah, it's been a fun fun time. Like, we had this idea for a while now, didn't we? Yeah, because. Because I, I was thinking about like you know cards for different you know different styles in it, but this this is so much better and so much more exciting. Mm -hmm. And you never know um, where this could take us, or what else could we come up with with this. All right, you. Now I just have a lot of scribbles on my side. I'm just trying to then. Thinking about it now, maybe we should have just done like one word from that just for this live stream. So nah. we could roll the dice again. Nah. Now nah, let's do it really well. We can figure this out. I know it's, it's a complicated one. It's a tough one, but I'm loving the challenge right now. And I bet people at home are doing like are you also joining us with the live stream? Are you joining us? Are you doing the challenge as well? Let us know in the comments if you have started to, to draw the same quote. Maybe you have like different ideas. I'm loving what Ian is doing. I, oh, I shouldn't look, but I'm loving this too. So that is really fun. Um, playing around with these ideas is like, it's, it's a creative challenge. That's the thing. It's really all about like creativity, coming up with all these different ideas. And, and the goal really is to to play around, to experience, trying out new things. And so that is the cool part. Um, let's see if I can 
kind of move this around a bit. Like since we don't we don't have a really style that we need to use, we can be very uh, like choose our own, which is also good and practical. So what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Life is better when you're laughing. Good. I feel like I haven't forgotten anything. Just gonna reduce here the opacity. Just do a little bit. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm playing around with something. Let's see if that's gonna work. Ooh, freestyler pack. This is the one that I wanted to use. The mono. Mono brush. When did you come out with the uh, freestyler pack? Uh, I think it was earlier on in the year. Um, I'm just in the middle now of converting them to affinity brushes. Designer for all you finity designer. Fans. Nice. Is it hard to do? Uh, it's not too bad. I've done one before, so, um, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. Are a lot of people using Affinity it's over Procreate or are people was, using uh, both? The thing is there was, t sorry? Are people using more Affinity or like, are they using both? Like what's the, in your opinion, the one thing that like Affinity has over um, over Procreate? Uh, the ability to do vector work in it. Uh, but unfortunately, my brushes won't work in vector because like the, some of them are like use this sort of 3D effect on them and it's not possible as a vector brush. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure, I'm, yeah, I've been, that's the problem. I started off the harder ones. Once I got those out of the way, uh, and then I can move on and uh, build the rest of the pack knowing that I could complete that because otherwise I don't want to get you know set a pack that was just not as complete as mm -hmm. the procreate one but luckily you know after a lot of uh playing around and trial and error I got there so I love it I love how much effort you put in every putting every pack together like making sure it's it's up to the highest standards that like I don't see many others creating like putting out this high quality out and which is also one of the reasons why I love working with you on different products is because you push me to really like give it the best make sure that it's it's up to the to your standard and so I think that's why like letter builder grid builder and and like the tools that we've put out together have been so nice and so good I think, you know, people, you know, spend their money, part of their money, and I want them to get, you know, value for money. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, I never want them to go, oh, this is a bit rubbish. <laughs> um, no, and then they won't come again. I, I feel like the same way, like for my courses, um, I want to make sure that everybody who gets a course, uses the course, like learns from me, like really has the best experience. And so like, that's why the Procreate boot camps are are built a way, uh, or boot camps in general are built are built this way to to really accommodate that, like to learn, to grow, to really see a transformation. Because if they don't see a transformation at the end of the course, like I probably haven't done my job really well. And well, it's always depending on if they've put the work in. Like I cannot, I can just do one part. I can teach, but I see the results on on the the students that I ha get in. And it's phenomenal to see that. And so with your products the same way, like you see what people create with the products when they when they try, when they do something, and it's really cool. Thank you. So let's but do do let us know if there's anything you think uh, that's missing from the pack. We'd love to have your feedback. Uh, what you think? 
works, what you think doesn't work, what is missing. And just general ideas, like even if you're just interested, like signing up to the newsletter uh, or to the email list by like getting the free sheet, like you get something free from us. And also you're just getting, like we'll keep you in the loop of what's going on, how we're progressing. And one other thing, like would you, would you support us by, if we launch like something like a, uh, a Kickstarter campaign? Like we're still, we're still new to this whole thing about creating physical, <clears throat> physical products. And we want to know how we can do that, how we can do that better. And creating something that people will love, that's important to us. But we've just loved it ourselves and we're just loving it right now. And which is why it's really cool to do that. By the way, Yin, do you ever use the fill tool? What do you mean? Which? Like the color fill? Um, the actual tool rather than filling it yourself. So I didn't know this, this really worked until like, it's not necessarily something super useful, um, but it is quite cool. And I'll show you just in a second. Just finish drawing all of these pieces because once you've drawn like all these elements, you want to fill them out and give them a nice touch. Oh yeah, and by the way, you guys are all the first people to know about this whole project here. So we love to share and to hope that you guys love the idea and hope you guys keep it also a secret for, for us. We just wanted to share this and and see what you guys think um, and see what, yeah. If this is something you want us to create, produce, make. Okay, so here's the, the fill tool. Um, so whenever you, like you drop one in, you click on continue filling and then you just need to move this piece here and then tap on all these pieces and boom, done. Everything is filled out, which is pretty cool. So right now I will hide this in the background. You're so much quicker than I have. I've done one word and you've done the whole thing. Well, uh, it's, it's like a funky style lettering. So I'm like, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm getting like to the part that is difficult and it's adding the pattern, which can take a lot longer depending on how you do it. Huh? Let me see. Freeform. Transforming some letters, making them even a little bit odder. Odder. Making them odd. Making them more odd. Is it odder or is it Sounds weird. What are you trying to say? Like making something more odd than it is. Is it odder? Making something odder? Weirder? Weirder. Yeah. Well, weird and odd are a little bit different, I feel like. Maybe I'm just playing too much with the words right now. So, let's see. Oh, I need to still put the uh, in in here. Or the is actually. Now, did you know that I'm after a really long time, like I've been missing doing workshops in person and so next month in Munich, I'll be doing a live workshop after, what is it? Probably more than, more than a year later than I was anticipated to do it. Um, 
and finally get to to see people live again. I feel like it's weird. Another color in here. At what point in the lettering process do you color things in? Uh, I normally start with color and it's normally orange and orange, black and gray. So you kind of have your, <laughs> All the time. your colors already set out for you, picked out. I can't, I can't, I'm not very good with color. So I just stick with <laughs> what I know. Well, that's a good, that's actually so, a really good option though, if you think about it. Like not everyone thinks like that, like, oh, I'm bad with colors. Like admitting that that's already a huge thing. Um, but then just doing what you can is another one. Ooh, kind of like this mixed color thing here. Let's see. Let's change this color. Something darker. I'm just wondering whether it's uh, doing some script of life, but making it into a pattern. Boom. I feel like I got the colors down. Kind of mix of different styles, different colors. Okay, now pattern. How do we add pattern to this? I'm gonna add a clipping mask and see whether or not I can just add like a pattern inside here. Okay, this feels like cheating. What's that? Like using your brushes and just adding some like polka dots inside. Well, it is a pattern, I suppose. It is. Let's see what else we can do. That's a different type of pattern. Just trying out here some things. I might see if I can turn the word into a load of leaves, the leaf pattern. I'm going to tweak your brush here and quickly see if I can do that shape, shape, size. Um, properties, maximum size. That's a maximum we got. Okay. Let's change that here. Import source library. Well, 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 well. My idea is to fill out here just like some parts of the letter, like drawing in the inside, leaving a nice outline, and then coloring it in with different patterns 
for that, I kind of need to redo all of these letters. A layer, then hide this, the black parts. And then color these all in. I don't know if mine's working. <laughs> oh, but that looks beautiful. Oh, the life looks amazing. Yeah, but only once I turn off that, it doesn't look like an L. <laughs> well, got to figure out the legibility part. That's the hard part. Mm. Otherwise, it, it's the, um, you know, part of good design is being able to read it <laughs> mm -hmm. and kind of like figuring out which part you need to draw in so it's legible so my idea would be to do this here then going in with um soft light hard light uh not here light color does that work overlay add and now if i draw in Oh, so like, well, could actually. Draw on something like this. Does that make sense to do that on every letter? Kind of like cheese grater now. I feel like I need to do some different ones on different parts. Do I have other cool, what kind of brushes do I have? I can do a Louis Vuitton. I don't know why I have a Louis Vuitton brush, but I do. So I can kind of like add like a Louis Vuitton style effect in here. The cool thing is you're trying out new things, which is not necessarily easy to do. Oh, this would be an easy way to do add pattern inside your letters. See, I, I don't think that reads life. It just looks like a random collection of <laughs> leaves. It doesn't really go well with the rest of the letters. I might try. Huh. I like it though. I think it would work for something else, maybe. Light path going in and then changing. Can't change something here. Spacing, yes. Boom. Now I need to put that on a new layer, clipping mask on. It is very interesting to try out these things out here live um, with everyone watching, rough detail, like clear this up, clear, and let's see. Do you think Nick would have beaten us by now? Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, like there's no winner in this game, but if there were, who would it be? And what could we do? Imagine this, Saturday night, you're at home, you don't necessarily know what to do or have like other plans. And then a friend comes over, opens a bottle of wine, or maybe just a beer, depending on what you're into. 
maybe also just coffee. Like imagine you're in a coffee shop, you like get together and you start making stuff and draw something up, create something. Like you don't have to share it, post it or anything. You can just create something, something that's fun, something that you love, something that you want to do. And the goal of this here is not really to create something and put it out, but to then, yeah, you can share it on your Instagram stories. That's a great idea, Nick. Um, there's so much you can do with it. And so the question really is, what will you do with it? And I'm just kind of imagining where people could have a lot of fun doing so and creating like really cool things. And for me, it's just imagine just how many people would, could get more, could be more creative because they have something that they want to do and try out and make. Now that's something I love to see. And also, I always love making products that I use myself, like, hmm. because in reality, Maybe like the letter builder and grid builder was something that I needed myself and that I like would use all the time. And so why should this be any different? Oh, this could be fun. See, this is great for me because I'm not great at doing patterns. So it's forcing me to do some patterns. Right. And because you have me as well on the line, you like, you cannot really chicken out and, and just say like, nah, not today. I'm not feeling it. Oh, you're trying something new. It's, I like it's that. Good. It's good to have some accountability. Exactly. To, um, not um, shy away from hard things. And the best part, like the one thing I'm afraid of about the whole thing is like, what if people just like play over the dice again and again until they get something that they want to do, like, or just change the card and like, ah, oh, no, I don't want this one. Like it loses the, the, the whole ability of like what you can do with it. Um, so I don't know about how, how we can fix that part, but I feel like somehow People can probably, people can do that anyway. So I don't actually need to worry about it. <laughs> it's quite therapeutic doing patterns actually. It is, right? The one piece I did in, in uh, Iraq on, on the, like on, on the, what was it, refugee camp, that was actually really therapeutic. What wasn't though, <laughs> I still have to get over that part, but was the, uh, the fact that like everybody was helping along, like that was the goal, but I had to learn and somehow I didn't, I wasn't really excited about like everybody t like drawing and painting in like some some never had actually had a a um 
like a brush in their hand in their life. And so they just like start drawing in and then they totally overshot the, the lines and everything. And so I was like stressed by that. Um, and, and like the, the guy who was leading the workshop, he was like, hey, this is the goal of the whole exercise. And I'm like, I know, I'm struggling with that though. <laughs> So, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. And what I'm even less sure about is, does this count as patterns? That's a pattern, it's repeating, isn't it? It's not repeating some parts. <laughs> let's just say it counts and let's be happy with it and focus more on the part that we're creating something and we're having fun and we're trying out something new. That is even better. I love that part. might find a style that you never knew you had inside you. Mm -hmm. And Alora seeing a serif in that you, well, kind of, it's kind of more like a, this goes up to here and then stops. That's kind of the idea of the, the sign that I was going for. But if you see a pattern or if you see a serif, then that's okay. I'm seeing a lot of things here. I'm seeing now an embossed letter. Embossed is also a style that you can do in this game. Ooh, this kind of looks cool. Thicker, perhaps. Nope. Okay. All right, this is the whole lettering part done. I feel like it's missing something. My camera. Oh, what's going on? It's all right. Um, 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 Your camera's gone? <laughs> it it uh, shuts off after 15 minutes. Oh, or yeah. Half that... an hour, something like that. <laughs> it's been already, yeah, it's been already over half an hour since we started. But we're back. Life is better when laughing. That's true. It's cheesy, but it's true. Now, can I add some, some things around it? Can I put it all in a different color? What happens if I take the background? Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely not. Like a bright. I think white was great. White was a good choice so far. And what I can do always is take the whole lettering piece here and go into hue layer and like do a green version, a red version perhaps, or just darken down all of those letters. And is there any illustration we can put around that just to fill it up? Like a huge smile. It's 
kind of creepy. Um, Somehow that doesn't fit the whole drawing style. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck on the... Uh... On the? Yeah. Uh, on the two... <laughs> on when you're... Don't overthink it. Just keep going with it. Just had to add some. Some googly eyes. Yeah, I was trying that with the um the letter A. Wait a minute, now I'm getting in. You got a whole pack on your freestyler here, Google. There we go. That is fun. I was wondering, like, somehow. But it looks like, <laughs> mine looks like he's in pain. I think because it's in, in uh, it's reversed out. It's not, um, not working. It needs to be in the other. Uh... Ooh. See, sometimes you need the inspiration to know which one works, which one doesn't. And then you can move things around. Boom. Scale it, getting it. Sometimes you just got to figure it out. What works, what doesn't, we don't have it all figured out. We definitely don't. Um, but we're learning and we're trying. And right now I'm just experimenting with Ian's whole doodle pack, which is super fun. Um, so much fun so that I am just trying to get like a couple of good faces in here, is there a, maybe I'm just trying like a freestyler here. This one feels like it should go up here. What else can we add? Doodle pack here. A mouth, a mouth, like a mustache. There are definitely some funny eyes in here. Um, a little airplane. I'm 
my battery is about to die. Still got 10% left. And let's draw in a fly path here. Spread that out a little bit more. To spread out. Stars, some random shapes. You're look, yours are looking great. Thank you. Now I'm gonna finish my colors. <laughs> All right, I think I'm calling it for me. Otherwise, I'm like gonna add like tons of stuff more. Actually, I'm just gonna pick up this color here. And drop it in here, keep coloring. Boom. All right. So about an hour in, less than an hour. Look at that. All the things that we can create in just such a short amount of time. Yours is awesome as well. Life is better when you're laughing. I love the shapes that you put in, Ian, always. It's fun. Okay, so this is what I think we've been able to create. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this part. And again, it's all thanks to, well, just a couple of like gamification of drawing something together. Um, three yes. dices, a whole pack of cards here with awesome quotes. And uh, I wish I could tell you that you should buy this now and should get it right away. I can't, we don't have any of those available. Um, but what I do know is wanna hear your feedback and see whatever you guys think. Like, is this a game that you want to play? If you want to join us in playing this more, um, and again, just like send us your feedback, ideas, suggestions. Um, love to hear more. And also, should we play this with other lettering artists? Like, should we get, I don't know, uh, Martina Floor on the chat? Should we get Will Patterson, Will Pat, Nico? Um, there's so many awesome illustrators and lettering artists that we could play this with. Um, and Anna Laura definitely wants to play it. That's awesome. And I think like, you all should play it. I'm, I'm really excited. Like, tell us also who you want to see us play this with. Um, I have a lot of fun. It's a lot, like it's a fun quote. It's a good challenge and gets you creative just by doing something. So yeah. Any last words, Ian? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, no, I just, yeah, looking forward to, uh, yeah, seeing the positive reaction. And we're looking forward to, you know, moving forward with it and yeah, hopefully getting it out to everybody at some point that's so, awesome uh but thanks to everyone for joining the live stream and watching us uh <laughs> trial it out ourselves and so get there with our pieces here is my final result with the last part ian do you want to show yours just next to it so we have our faces oh, no, i don't think mine's finished yet oh yours is I would like, like you like with you i like to add little bits 
Um, there we go. Epic. Uh, so you can't see the, pat uh, the pattern on the... Uh... You can, you can. That's what's the beauty. Like, you, you have to go in to get closer. And uh, so excited that you guys were all here. Thank you so much for jumping on. And uh, we can't wait to hear more from you. And until then, uh, we're just going to say goodbye. And uh, hopefully that you can enjoy the rest of your day and keep creating, keep doing something awesome. And I'll see you all very soon. Uh, so don't go anywhere. See you soon. Bye bye. Thanks, guys. Done.